good morning. Okay, happy uh, Friday. Friday. Um, okay, good deal. So I just finished my 15 minute workout. Yes, 15 minutes and that's it and I'm done. Um, Switch it up just a little bit today, not a ton, but just a tiny bit. But the point is, it's done. It's 15 minutes, found the 15 minutes, found the motivation, just the desire to stay consistent, um, and just did it. So anyway, um, hey, Friday. So any questions? Of course, today is um, question day, Q&A day. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the chat below, and I will answer them for you or just ask them live and Depending on the timing feed, I will answer them on the go. So what about today? What do we want to talk about today? So today we are talking about how, like, okay, we talk, but this has been a week of doubt. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if that's probably what's on my heart. Maybe I'm feeling a little doubtful. I don't know. I'm not feeling that necessarily. I'm not thinking that I'm feeling that, but that surely is seeming to be what's on my heart is that's what I posted a lot about. So this morning, doubt kills more dreams than failure. Uh, and why is that? Because if we're doubting ourselves, we might not even try. So again, how? How is really the issue today that we want to kind of look at and um, just kind of take a quick little unpacking of the meme? Uh, and what does that really mean? So really why I posted that today is to give you just a sense of encouragement that it's okay to be doubtful, but if you don't try, then that's, that's for sure a fail. Uh, I mean, that is absolutely one way to make sure that you do not um, get to your goal is to not even try. Um, so how do you do that? How do you do that? So, you know, we hear a lot about what's your why, what's your why, what's your why? And it's important that we answer that question because that is really what's gonna drive you when that doubt does come about. Um, so maybe it starts out being, oh, you just wanna look great in your clothes. Maybe it starts out you have an event coming up. Maybe it's homecoming. Maybe it's, a, you know, maybe it's another graduation. Maybe it's a milestone birthday. Uh, but after that, after you reach that goal, what will happen is that your motivation may start to wane. So that's really why I'm suggesting that you have a larger goal, something bigger than just that one thing, because why that's that pain issue. Once you've overcome that pain, what are you going to have to keep you going forward? And that's where that larger why comes into play. So how do you do that? Again, it's by sitting down, maybe have some quiet time with yourself, kind of figure out what is it exactly that you really want? If no one's looking, if no one's gonna be reading over your shoulder, if no one's gonna see your notes, what are you gonna write down as to why you really, really wanna do that? Maybe you were bullied as a kid. I don't know, I know I certainly was. Uh, my nickname at school was Moose. This kid, I remember him, I can't remember his name, but um, anyway, for some reason or another, he decided that that needed to be my nickname. And I look back at my pictures, I'm like, I really wasn't that fat. Uh, maybe I was a little chunky, I don't know. I'm gonna post some of those pictures later, not today, but another time. Um, but yeah, so dip, dig deep down and think about, okay, this is really what I want. This is really, if it's just between me and my heart, me and God, me and whoever your higher power is, then that's really your deep down reason. And you don't have to always tell me that, but it is something that I do ask my clients before we start working together. So, um, so that really is, that's the how. That is how you get started in trying to figure out what it is you want to do to overcome that doubt. And so that when you have that doubt, when those things come up, then you can feel like, all right, no, there, there's more for me. There, there's a bigger life. There's a bigger dream that I want for myself. So that is the how. That is your tip for today is just have some quiet time. Write down, think about, dream about in the car, turn off the radio. Uh, just have some time with yourself and your heart and, and write that down. And then that is going to be your first step. Okay. So on that note, I want to wish you optimal health and bountiful wellness, an amazing weekend, and I will see you on Monday. And bye for now. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.